Uh, what we're going to study here is the syllabary. Uh, we're not going to study the entire syllabary. We're not going to go through the entire syllabary one lesson. That's this brain numbing madness to do that. Okay. Um, the best way to learn writing, reading and writing, is you have to learn to write. Okay. If you attempt to only use flashcards and do the entire set at one time, or even the small sets, sections of it, without learning to do the physical act of writing, you have to do the physical act of writing, you're not going to learn the syllabary very well, and you're actually going to become extremely frustrated once you reach letter 14 or so. It's just not going to work out to your um, happiness. Um, I developed, for my own use, a technique for learning the syllabary. Okay? Now, my results are not typical. I was actually able to recognize more than 90% of the syllabary within a day and a half with this new technique. But it involves this writing, and it involves splitting it up into sets of seven with special repetitive pattern. Okay? So, the first seven letters, which I'm going to write up here, um, I'm going to start out writing what real kind of small up here so that I can keep track so that I don't jump ahead because I will try to go too fast otherwise. But the letters are going to be A, A, E, O, U, A, and Ga. So these are going to be first seven letters. Okay, this is all we're going to study in this lecture, as far as the letters go. Okay. So the first thing you're going to notice is that each one of these corresponds to the six special vowels. So you have in English writing a, a, e, o. through the nose, and then we have a combination called ga. Now what you're looking at here is that whenever you combine sounds together in the Cherokee writing system, you actually use another letter. Um, so all the g sounds when they're followed by one of these have their own letter. Okay, So you end up with 85 letters. Now, even though you have more letters to learn than in the English alphabet, you don't have to worry about all these special spelling rules like the silent E's and the combination letters and all these other things. As a general rule of thumb, um, whenever you see any of these letters, its name is its sound, period. Um, so whenever you see that letter, it always makes the ah sound. It is called the letter ah, and it makes the ah sound. When you see this letter, the letter A, it actually makes the sound A. When you see the letter E, it makes the sound E. Unlike English, you only, the sound of the letter is the name of the letter. So, taking this one for example, the letter GA, if you see it in the word, it makes the GA sounds to combine together. It goes GA. When you see it, you go GA. Okay? So now let's cover actually writing each one out. Now you may or may not want to follow along, depends on how fast you can draw. So, so to do the letter A, we go down, and then we go across, like this. And that's pretty much the letter A. To do the letter A, we pull down, we go to the top of the letter, we come across, we come back, we touch. It's very important that you touch there. You do not loop through itself. And you come back down and you make it curly. Okay? So when you're doing the letter A, this always is supposed to touch and this is always supposed to curve upwards. If you don't do that, you can accidentally write a different letter which looks very, very similar to the letter A. Okay? 
So just keep in mind that you have the touch right there, and you always have a curly right there, and you don't have a problem. It won't be it won't be confused with any other letters. Then we have the letter E. So the letter E is real simple. As you can see, you just pull straight down, and you give it a large cap. So that's the letter E. So, ah, uh, a, e. The next letter we're going to look at is the letter O. This one takes a little, a little bit more practice to get used to. So we're going to pull straight down. So I've pulled straight down right there. And I'm going to go to the next step over here to show you the next step separately. So we're going to go straight down again. And then we're going to curve. You see I'm curving up. So again, I pull straight down. I curve up. I pull through. Straight down. I curve up. I pull through and I go down. Okay? So, and then last, I add a cap. That's the letter O. And I'll draw it one more time. So for the letter O, again we pull down, we come around, we go through, we go down to where we're even again, and then we add a cap. So that's the letter O. The next letter is the letter U. Note I'm saying U, not U. It's Ooh, you don't, there's no Y sound there. It's just ooh by itself. Okay? Now the letter O, like the letter A, you, there's a certain way you have to draw it. And you start, start trying to change it and you'll turn it into a different letter. So to do the letter O, we draw a circle or an English letter O, whichever way you want to look at it, but we're making the letter, the Cherokee letter O. Then right here at the very, very top, we're going to start at the very, almost at the top. We pull out, move a slide down, and then we kind of hook it back. So again, and it doesn't have to be perfectly circular. I can do, you can do it like this, okay? Um, though that's less common. It's more commonly written this way. Um, and then at the near, at near the top, you pull down and you curve around. One more time. We make a big circle. We go to the very top. We make a little circle, but we don't close the little circle. That's the letter O. Now for the letter O. Letter O is pretty simple. You start at the base, you pull up, you go back down, just like that, and you give it a dot. That's the letter U. Uh. Again, you start, you go straight up, you come back down, and you give it a dot. Now, this is, you're supposed to do this close to the same size as these. You're not supposed to do this like a little letter I in English. You're supposed to do this big like the A ah and the A, E, O, and U you see up there. You can see it's the same size all the way across. You're supposed to keep them the same height, if at all possible. It's not mandatory, but it works out better. And we're going to do our first combined sound, the GA. Now, there are several letters that have this as part of their shape, okay? So you have to be, always make sure that you clearly do whatever the second shape is so there's no confusion. So, um, so for the ga, you do, you can do something like this, okay? And then you draw a line through it, 
or you can do it more like this and draw a line through it. Now you notice the line has to go all the way through and it has to be on both sides. And it's important that it be somewhat pronounced so that you can easily see that line. Okay? There are other letters which look similar, not exactly the same, but look similar. And this is what makes the ga the ga, not another letter. This is bar, it's in the middle. So again, we'll draw it like this. Then we'll put a bar. We'll do it one more time. We'll draw it like this. And we'll put a bar. Okay, so these are all slightly different from each other, but they all have that basic curve shape and they all have that bar going through.